So we're here with uh, Echo Flow. Hi. Hi. So please introduce yourself. Yes, I'm Ryan Oliver, so I run communications for the US for EcoFlow. And what do you show here? So this is being launched actually tomorrow, January 9th. It's the Delta Pro Ultra. It is our biggest battery to date. It is a whole home backup solution. So this is scalable. So you have enough backup power for a power outage, natural disaster. Anytime you're losing power in your house, you've got enough backup power, depending on how much you, you how many batteries you get, one day to 30 days here. Wow. So uh, how heavy is this? Uh, so you're looking at uh, 120 pounds for the battery and 70 pounds for the inverter. So uh, it's important to have an inverter? Yes. Uh, for, for this unit, the battery is basically just, it's just storage. The inverter is needed to basically be your interface. This is going to, you know, for a portable solution, this is basically you can connect directly to these. This is an RV. Uh, this is uh, regular AC. You've got solar inputs as well. Uh, this is portable solar. And this is a whole home, um, basically rooftops, uh, I'm sorry, rooftop solar array. The whole solar array connects on this? Right here. In there? Yes, so rooftop uh, solar. What is this? This is infinity port. This actually helps connect you to the smart home panel. What is this smart home panel? Yeah, so this would be a sub panel for that connects to your main panel in your house. So, like I said, it's a whole home solution. If you want to completely integrate this into your home, this is going to be basically a way to level up. And you, this way you can connect more inverters, more batteries, you have more options, ways to save money, uh, ways to monitor your energy usage when you're using this. But you do not need this, you can use a regular transfer switch. And then uh, I see all these different outputs. This is what you were talking about? Yes. That you can do all these different... Uh... Yes. One so hour it's of very solar. scalable. So you're looking at this like outputs on one inverter is 7.2 kilowatts. That's enough for like basically a large central AC um, with all of your appliances. But it can scale up to 21.6, which is quite honestly more power than most people need for their homes. And then you can just you chain can them stack together. These up. Yeah. So if you have a smart home panel, you can have up to three inverters connected to your smart home panel. Each inverter, you can connect five batteries to it. How many years can I hope for this to work? Uh, so you get about a 10-year lifespan. It's LFP, it's LFP chemistry. So you get about 3,000 discharge cycles before it hits 80%. At 10 years, you're going to lose about 20% of your total capacity. LFP, it's? Lithium iron phosphate. So that's the like the most popular Tesla technology right now? There's more Tesla than the co use, there's Tesla, no cobalt? That Tesla uses a different technology for weight. So this is a little heavier than what Tesla is using. Uh, so this is going to have more life cycles than a Tesla product. All right. Is it very, very expensive? Uh, so this you're looking at, if you have just an inverter with a battery, uh, we're introducing, introducing that about $6,000. $6,000. Uh, each additional battery uh, connected to this is going to be about $3,000. All right. Uh, is your company famous? You sell a lot of uh, power, power solutions? So, yeah, this is how we got our name. So we are kind of the market leader in portable power stations. And just in the US or? Globally. Globally? Yes. Uh, and this kind of ones like this? Yes. Uh, so most people know EcoFlow for these portable power solutions. You know, these are basically for camping, tailgating. Um, a unit like this is actually can actually oh, power up essential uh, uh, critical devices in a power outage if you want a really small scale solution. Can, can these also daisy chain and connect extra? Uh, so this stuff? one actually has a, a, a spare battery that it can connect to. So you can daisy chain another one of these. Of course, you know, that's DC to DC. Uh, you can always connect DC to AC, but you lose some efficiency going that way. All right. Uh, so this is a hot topic, hot topic, right? And how about the, the solar panels? How do you get really good, cheap solar panels to connect? Really good, cheap solar panels to connect. It, it do is, you sell any? We do sell solar panels. We sell portable solar panels as well as fixed rooftop solar panels. All right, so you can just combine the whole thing, and then you... Uh... Yeah, so it's compatible as a rooftop system for solar storage, in addition to being whole home backup and just being something you plug into the wall. It depends, there's a lot of use cases for this. And I like the trend that some of the new EVs can connect back to the house to bring power back to the house. Yes. But you would still need to have a buffer battery and you would, you want to charge your, your car? Or, you, know. you, can, you can charge a car from this. 
Um, obviously, that's going to take a lot of juice to power a car up fully. Um, but if you just need something for like a short distance, quick amount of charge, yes, you can charge an EV from this.